farm update. Uh, still doing hay. We're out loading uh, hay bales today on a property we did. Uh, taking them to the customer. He's paying us to haul them to him. Uh, he paid for the bales, and he's paying to haul us. I mean, have us haul them to him. Oklahoma's in a pretty bad drought, and everybody's freaking out about not having enough hay, and rightfully so, because there probably won't be. Uh, I know the state has declared a state of emergency for a lot of the hay around here, so they can, I guess, assist people in buying it, getting it transferred in out of state, feed animals. But we're out here with the deer, 6115. Xander's loading hay for us on 20 bale. Uh, this is our 20 by four. I thought I'd do a quick review on it. Haven't done one since we bought it. I think we've had it two years. And hauled around, oh, I don't know, 15, 20,000 bales with it. Um, in the last two years, we average you know, from eight to 10,000 bales a year. Uh, and then we also haul for other people uh, their hay as well out of the fields because we can just do it so much faster. Uh, on a hay trade or the pay us or whatever the case may be do that a lot too uh, some guys will buy a bunch of hay and they need and pay us to haul it and we use these trailers as well so this is the uh made in mexico i believe bail wagon um i've had this trailer like i said earlier two years i think maybe two and a half years i look back at the footage and see when we bought it uh, all i've done to it is put tires on it so far obviously we wear the tires out and it hauls heavy all day every day so we eat them up pretty good i have bent a rack on it but it was not because of the trailer it was because of me i had a strap on the back um i was going down some really rough roads i was afraid maybe one of my vibrate slide off the back probably shouldn't have worried about it but i did and um bent the rack on the right side there you can see it's tipped down right there uh, when i threw the strap it I forgot to pull it off, bent this bar, which will heat, and push that back over, that's no big deal. Um, and then I'll put a round better in the middle, we'll twist the rack back the other direction, try to straighten that back out a little bit. It does not affect the way it works at all. Like I said, it was my fault, it had nothing to do with the trailer. I, uh, I just forgot to strap. The guy started talking to me when I got there and we chit-chatted and then, you know, one thing led to another and I went to dump and forgot all about the strap on it. So we've abandoned the strap theory. Do not do that anymore. Um, it has hauled, I'm gonna guess 15 to 20,000 bales at this point. Uh, the racks are nice and smooth and slick. Um, it works well. I've broke no welds, no problems, no lights, nothing. Um, we've had zero trouble with it. Again, we're very, very diligent with our equipment and maintenance grease it uh, keep our wheel bearings full of oil um, you can see here we grease all the slide zerks and we'll keep all the springs attached um, we keep 14 ply tires on it the only thing I have noticed is the tape they use to hold the wires on the axles is kind of stupid um, but it is what it is we retape that probably zip tie it here pretty soon all the lights still work on it and it hauls hay all day every day we're gonna haul i don't know 10 loads today with it probably if we can get them all in a lot of that's timing we have to load and xander usually comes out and preps the field and has them stacks in 20s um, but we had to take the tractor home to do some work on some of their equipment and we needed that to put hay out and we're in a drought so we're having to haul water from some of our uh wells to our cattle so we're having to use the big tractor to hold a big water tank probably don't have to use it uh, just more convenient for us getting in and out of the hay pens with it rather than maybe getting one of our trucks stuck or a cow bumping into the fender and cracking it and denting it you know how they do they're, they're not aware of their giant size so they don't worry about any of that but the trailers uh worked perfectly um we actually bought some provider wheels and tires from our dealer um, so we don't have to dismount so we have four of these on the ready for when we I mean, we go through a lot of fields a lot of sticks thorns blackberry bushes boat art needles stuff like that I, everybody calls them something different uh, but we go through a lot of punctures based on uh, the fields we drive in and out of we try to stay up by the entrances where they've been driven on 
uh, but it doesn't always happen that way. But anyway, here's a review on the trailer. I have zero complaints about it. Uh, the only minor thing I would say for me personally is I don't care how they wrap the brake lines around the axle with black tape. Electrical tape, that's bound to come off. Um, that's just me. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not a big deal, but they will hang and drag. Sorry, I set the brake on the truck. Forgot about that. Um, the springs work fine. We do grease and keep our handles nice and greased and our crank legs. We're pretty diligent with all the wiring, keeping it all tucked away when we're not using it. All that gets wrapped up inside there, laid up in there. All the hooks, everything still work. Breakaway cable. In our area, if you get pulled over and the breakaway cable is not on there, it's it's a problem. I think it is in most areas, but I just noticed my fender lights vibrated out. I'll push that back in. The little plate behind it came off. A lot of dirt roads, so they get pretty beat up. The uh, trailer has been fine, though. I keep bouncing back and forth, but the trailer's been fine. Uh, if you want one, get one. Uh, ours came out of Payton, Oklahoma. That's where our dealer is that uh, sold us ours. We have three of these, and they all work the same. I don't have any trouble with any of them. We have one light problem on one of them, but somebody ran into the back of it with a tractor, so that smashed all the lights up in the back, but we've already fixed that. Um, other than that, it wasn't a trailer problem as much as it was the guy operating the tractor problem. Uh, the trailers are really good. I like them. Um, we haul them all over state of Oklahoma. I've hauled them to Texas. They're out of hay, too. Um, they've lifted all the restrictions for us to haul in and out so we can get hay down there to their animals in Texas, North Texas, and yeah, West Texas. Um, this trailer doesn't go that far. Obviously, it doesn't haul enough hay, but, you know, we're only two hours north of the state line, Red River, uh, of Texas. So it's, you know, a lot of guys will pay for two loads of these, 40 bales. It works out to be about the same as a semi truck anyway. And we can just walk, drive in, flip a lever, dump them, and drive out rather than have to have them there to unload them with a tractor and take a couple hours. So these trailers are super handy. I think a 20 bales all you want on your one ton. Uh, when these bales are pushing 1,200 pounds, these are not. These are probably only about a thousand, thousand pounds. The grass is pretty dry. I do have my compression turned up quite high to get, a, get as much hay in the bale as I can. Um, but these are about a thousand a piece. Usually we try to wrap them around 1,100, 1,200 pounds. Uh, that I mean that's a load. Especially for you one tons, um, the Ford didn't have any problem pulling it. Uh, it's really the stopping and just the constant abuse every day. Uh, I mean, I think that's tough on any truck. I don't really care about the brand on the hood. Um, the trailer brakes work really well. Um, this truck's pulled, I don't know, three or four million pounds of hay. You add it all up, uh, no problem. The other truck does too. Uh, Chance actually went to go get the other trailer. Um, he left us here to go get it dropped our gooseneck off we had to drop the tractor in the field here today so he dropped the trailer and he ran back to the house we're only eight miles from our house uh, from the farm and uh, we went to get the other trailer but Xander's out there loading us up he's got four bales on the deer and uh, just carrying him around trying to get us loaded up but if you guys like the trailer I have quite if you have any questions comment I'll answer what I can it's really not much to say buy one is what I would say they have a 14, a 10, a 12, and they have several different sizes. Uh, we have high, we have hauled five buys on this. Works just fine. Um, it really has no problems. So if you like one, get it. Um, I don't know how much more elaborate to be. The uh, the trailer itself works flawlessly, and the jack handle's all original. We of course we grease everything. You see the red grease right there. We grease all of our stuff, and we try to take care of it. I mean, they get abused out in the field, so they get quite a bit of use on them. And depending on our operators, they're pretty rough on the tractor. I mean, the back of the trailer, but we haven't had any problems, so not really a concern. Let's see, load it right quick. We got eight on there now. We set the e-brake on the truck when he's loading. Uh, and then when it gets about three quarters full, I get in and hold the brakes down on the truck itself to uh, keep the whole rig from sliding down the field because that tractor is so big, it will push that hay right, that tractor and that, uh, I mean the trailer and the truck right down the field. Um, the only way to stop that is if you'll push side to side and go ahead and put the weight all the way to the front. 
So we have our hooks on the outside offset so we can snag the outside of the bale and just drive down the side and push them all the way forward to get the weight up on the pickup uh, so that the park brake works while it's sitting in the field. Again, if it's real dry like this, the grass is slick. So um, other than that, we just sit in them and hold the brake while they push them on. It's really no big deal. The, uh, the Fords have no issue pulling them around. I'm sure the Dodges and Chevys don't either. I've, I don't own those, so I don't know. A buddy of mine has a Dodge, one ton he does it with, and he doesn't have to seem to have any trouble. So the trailers are really nice. They work very well. Um, we don't have any trouble with them. They're tire eaters, but then you're hauling 20,000 pounds 30 times a day with it. Um, it. It tends to eat them up and turn it out of driveways and grinding on them. And, in and out of fields and patching holes and so on and so forth. We have our own tire machine, so we try to patch our own holes when we can to save money. We have a old school tire machine and tire kits and we patch and plug them. We don't really try to plug these, we try to patch them more than anything, but I mean, you can plug them, wouldn't hurt them. Uh, other than that, I've had no problem. The shackles are fine, the springs work fine. I, I really, my friend has a pride of the prairie um, and it, we've ran them side by side and I can't, I couldn't tell you the difference. Um, I actually think this one's built better as far as structurally goes than the Pride of the Prairie is. Um, the Pride of the Prairie is double the price, almost double the price in my area. So I, I don't know why you'd do that. Um, but it's your money, do what you want to do uh, if you like that brand name. But these trailers work fine. I've had, like I said, thousands of bales on it, no trouble. And we're going to haul with it all day again today and tomorrow. And I think Saturday we got two, three hundred to haul. So we're trying to get everybody stocked up for winter. We got a chance of rain today, which is good. We've had just absolutely no rain here in central Oklahoma. Uh, literally just keeps making a, a swell around my area. The north and the south are getting some parts of rain in the areas, but we're getting just none here in central Oklahoma and western Oklahoma. It's been really, really tough uh, on the ground. We're actually having to water and feed in July, which has never happened in my well, I guess we did in 2015. It's kind of the same thing. It wasn't near as bad as this. But this has been a pretty good drought for us. All the grass is starting to die off. Uh, some areas are getting rain where I cut, so it's still green. Uh, so we're still able to be out in the fields and cut. I'm hoping a lot of this will recover. And we get rain in September usually around here. And if we get enough warm weather after, maybe the grass will, the seasonal grasses will still grow. I mean, we can at least get half of what we normally get off of them and we're gonna have to do it we're gonna waste a lot of fuel and a lot of man hours but I and mean, we gotta feed the animals so we always have to do what we gotta do but anyway that's a quick review on the trailer i know i've babbled, babbled about 10 other things but the trailer's fantastic if you like uh any of this stuff we have a bunch of this stuff on our channel uh for concrete farm um we do a lot of maintenance and repair and silly stuff uh we're working on a wind rower again the right side of the header has come apart on the sickle bar assembly we had rebuilt it a while back and something had snapped i don't know if something was hitting the field and it caused a vibration and then it just chattered and went south from there but that's uh that's some of the stuff we do a lot of a lot of repair a lot of maintenance um and we farm a lot we do a lot of farming we're, we're hay farmers we're not uh, crop farmers um, the only crop we do around here is winter wheat for us i mean a lot of guys do corn and beans around here but i don't we just do winter wheat and we'll start doing getting ready for that in the middle of september and uh, then we'll do some planting videos. I mean, it's really exciting stuff. The tractors uh, have done good this year and haven't had any maintenance and breakdowns, so it's been nice. Uh, we've had had breakdowns of some other stuff, but nothing too major. But anyway, this video really about the about the trailer. I know I've babbled nonstop about other stuff, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, you guys, so we can keep putting out content. Uh, we'd like to actually get the channel going in the farming community pretty well i mean we do basically what everybody else does we're probably not near as entertaining but um, if you like information and stuff that's kind of what we do so like and subscribe and uh, i mean that stuff's easy to do it really really helps uh, to make our channel grow so if you can i mean you hear the same stories from everybody so if you can do that we'd appreciate it thanks